Hello and welcome to Mornings on ABC News 24. I'm Joe O'Brien. Let's go straight to Brisbane now. The Federal MP Clive Palmer is uh, speaking about the executions the overnight of Andrew Chan nation, and Moran Sukumaran. In the best interest of his son. And the result of that was that his son at one time was placed on death row in Indonesia because he reported this action to the Australian Federal Police. The Australian Federal Police could have chosen to arrest the Bali Nine in Australia, but they chose not to do so. And we've seen the tragic consequences of that happen overnight. It was easier to make a call to Indonesia. The life of the, of the, of the man and his son, of the informant, seemed to be of little consequence to those making decisions. They were more concerned with passing the buck or giving it to someone else to do. This is not acceptable and it may have been legal at the time, but we need to ensure by law that it doesn't happen again. In that sense, uh, it's a political problem which needs a political solution. Cathy McGowan, the member in the House of Representatives with myself, are sponsoring a bill, the Foreign Death Penalty Offences Act of 2015. It provides an offence for a public official or a former public official who discloses information resulting in a person being tried, investigated, prosecuted or punished for an offence that carries the death penalty in a foreign country. The exception is if a foreign death penalty offence is constituted by a conduct that involves a terrorist act or an act of violence that would cause death to another person. I call upon the Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition to allow a conscience vote on this bill because all Australians I think agree that when a parent or another member of the community contacts their trusted agencies of the federal or state government to prevent a crime or to seek assistance, that that outcome shouldn't be one which would result in the death of the person who they're seeking to help. I call on all Australians to do what they can to protest over the handling of this matter in Indonesia, whether they can cancel a holiday to Bali and come to Queensland instead and uh, stimulate employment in the out tourist industry, whether it's the closing of an industrial operation. A real question remains, how can a G20 country, one of the richest countries in the world, still be the recipient of foreign aid when we see what's happening in Nepal and other places across Asia? So again, this act, act I think, will play a critical role in ensuring that these things don't happen again. We can't do much for the people that have lost their lives or their families, but we can ensure that they are like a beacon of hope for those that go after them to ensure that this doesn't happen again. And Australian public servants and law officers that we employ with taxpayers' money do carry out their duties in the best interest of Australians. Any questions? Well, I think it happens all the time in intelligence communities around here. We don't get all the intelligence from the United States. They act in their own national interest, and so does all countries. Um, it's very clear that we don't... This is a civil matter. It's not an intelligence matter. And we, we think that, uh, we're not, that, that we shouldn't be ensuring that Australians can be executed in a foreign land, and we don't want to assist people in doing that. That's what we think that it should happen. It's only been a few hours since these men were put to death. Mm. Is it the right time now to politicise it, or should the family be given time to well, we're certainly not politicising it. We're just trying to say this is a solution. And we're not saying that the Labor Party or Liberal Party or any particular party is separate on this. I think all Australians need to come together and to do it. OK, I've got a few problems with that link there for the moment. Sometimes it's the case that that can pop up once again. But that was uh, live from Brisbane. Federal MP Clive Palmer holding a media conference about the executions overnight of Andrew Chan and Moran Sukumaran. Clive Palmer saying he'll introduce a bill to Federal Parliament that makes it an offence for officials to disclose information to countries with the death penalty that may put Australians' life at risk. But there are some limited exceptions to that. So no doubt we'll hear more about that through today.